Hi everybody, and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I'm Yami no Senshi. And I'm Phoenix. And today we are journeying through the Dimbo Woods as Mario and Luigi to try and find the attack pieces here. Need an earth-shattering attack to knock Chakron out of his meditation stance. So that he will give us the last star cure. An earth-shattering kaboom. Unfortunately, we will not be getting any ray guns or planet-destroying lasers. We're disintegrating pistols. These are sock ops. They might look a little familiar, because they are meant to resemble Karibo shoes from Mario 3. It is Mario 3, right? I didn't just... Yup. Okay. <laughs> I think at that point I just assume my mind is completely gone give up video games and take up crochet or something. They were a fairly simple enemy. They just walk at you, then walk back. If they spew that yellow stuff first, they will walk faster and return to attack the other brother. If they hit you, they can cause poison. They are very easy to dodge and very easy to defeat, and there is a very good reason for that. We will see later in this video. Is there some kind of, like, poison shoe-shaped plant thing? I don't even know. Yahoo! Yeah, I probably shouldn't spend too much time pondering the unique biology of the Mushroom Kingdom inhabitants. During our little break, I did some off-screen bean farming and finished up some more areas, and we are now murder machines. That's good. I did find out accidentally that you can in fact give beans to Bowser. I would not suggest doing this. Bowser has no bonus bosses. It's entirely possible to beat the game without getting any beans with regular level stats. But if you're going to fight any of the bonus bosses, you're going to want the extra stat-ups, and only Mario and Luigi fight them. Got our first attack piece, and only nine more to go. Sure they won't be too difficult to find. We do have to fight the larger Bowser enemies. You can see just the massive amounts of damage we're doing. All of the Bowser enemies have the same attacks, but obviously you have to dodge or counter them differently. It's kind of cool. You come back and fight the same enemies, but it's the fight plays out completely differently. The main point of exploring these areas again is that you can go to the places that Bowser with its weak knees couldn't access. Wiggler doesn't want us going into this part of the forest. To be fair, it's pretty valid response. Just a couple of well-meaning adventurers. You won't, like, destroy the forest or anything. Wiggler's being a jerk. Yeah, we're... Not gonna go on a rampage or anything. We're just gonna kill everything in it. I wonder why they were hesitant to promise that. <laughs> Don't do anything bad. Promise. Mario. Don't you know how to count? In fact, I'm pretty sure you had a game at some point in the past where you taught children how to count. This must be before that, in canon. Uh oh. All the educational games are after Mario went into retirement. Yeah. You might have heard that little squeaky noise. We are right outside Black Monsieur's shop. Unfortunately, he's not gonna sell us anything. 
because apparently Mario is the perfect antithesis of everything he wants to do with his life. We destroy Block. Since Super Mario Bros. 1 back on the NES, we've been destroying them. I think he likes me. But, yep, he will not sell to us. You've been murdering all the Block people. Look, you did it right there! You're right in front of him! He can probably see you from there! <laughs> Wrecking their collector's value. It's making them all the same. Looks like getting, getting a limited edition action figure for Star Wars and taking it out of the packaging. Let's go. Unforgivable. Finding all the attack pieces isn't all that difficult there. Just spread out in the Mario and Luigi only areas. They show up on the map here, so just gotta check everywhere. It is part of a required quest for the plot. The bonus ones are actually just, they're all in one place. The two optional attacks. It's true, the one was the, the puzzle one, right? Right, and the other one is in Bowser's Castle. I will probably get that for the next episode. You have to do the only uncontained bonus boss. Still, the other attack pieces aren't required to progress. They're just in areas that you go through. This one, you actually need the move in order to finish the game. And here's our other new enemy, the Scutlet. Remember, we fought a giant one of these as one of the first bosses. That's blocking Bowser's flame pipe. Well, it was probably normal size, you were just tiny. Their attacks are, again, fairly simple. Uh, they will point at which brother they're going to charge in order. Once you reduce their numbers a bit, they just do this little attack where they kind of meander around and the second brother it goes to is the one you want to counter with. I wonder if they're fireproof. Like the tiny version, if they're immune to the fire flower attack or anything. I wonder. They are not boot proof. They've been kicked around by everyone now. They're not rolled up newspaper proof. Why you gotta go spoiling all the special attacks from later? That's the last one, too. That would be the greatest move. You gotta just rapidly tap A and B to roll the giant newspaper up. Just swat things. It's an instant kill on any insects. Probably have to, like, roll Luigi up inside the newspaper. Just for further abuse. Oh. Abuse? I'll wait till you, we get all these attack pieces, then I will show you abuse. Thematic abuse, but still abuse. The rolled up newspaper attack is also the only way to beat up, uh, Broggy. Gotta attack him with it if he pees on the carpet. Get the other special attack, rub his nose in it. We can also fight the treasures again, but unfortunately we don't have a vacuum handy. Luigi left his at home. So we have no way of siphoning out all that delicious gold. He should have come prepared. I mean, having an ultra-powered vacuum is pretty handy, considering how often these two fight boos of one variety or another. Though, not in this game, I don't think. Maybe he was thinking ahead. Trying to travel light. Halfway there. Once we get six, we can go in that little extra area behind the Wiggler.
Speaking of which, that's number six. Let's just travel back via magic. Progress. Yep. Show our attack pieces to Prince Emulator lag here. I'm not exactly sure why it's responsible to collect all these. I mean, does he consider them litter? Maybe? Does he actually trust us somehow and that he wants us to have them and no one else? He, he just thinks you're garbage men. Oh, it's the overalls. Everyone gets that wrong. Just a quick little... Uh-oh. Uh oh boy. Oh. Oh, crap. Uh. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. I'm Yami no Senshi. And apparently you're all by yourself as Luigi. <laughs> yep. Mario has been kidnapped by green sock things. I really contemplated just staying completely silent for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, that would make you Mario. I'm the one in control here. Mama mia. Luigi's not very confident when he goes into battle. No. This is why the enemies are rather simple. You have to solo them. Mama mia. It's not very challenging, and there's really nothing unique about it. Other than you just only get one attack per turn. We must sacrifice ourselves to the Mother Sock Hop. I'll praise the Sock Hop. This was a terrible idea. Well, now that Sock Hop just jumped in what I can only assume is stomach acid. Mario is now literally being dissolved. Why would they do that? Is that, like, part of their process? They eat things and then jump into the giant one and... Like, digest themselves? I'm so confused. I think that was part of the plot of How to Train Your Dragon. It's gone, too! You you fought the bugs, and the sock op that was in there with Mario's just dissolved. And that fight didn't take very long. But hey, we saved Mario, kinda. Well, I guess that yellow stuff is making it huge, so let's... Well, we took care of that, so let's just get out of here. It was just really fat. Yeah. Rudimentary liposuction. Um, nope. Luigi's completely stuck. Well, he's resigned to his fate. Yeah, just to pile on the reference, we now get to hop around in a sock up. And by that I mean we are wearing the corpse of a sock hop and jumping around in it. Child-friendly. Uh, just trying not to think about it. Hey, with this cunning disguise, we can talk to the other sock ops. Does it come with a built-in, like, translator chip? No, I thought about this one already. Okay, so clearly they're speaking English. And their only method of consuming things is chugging, apparently. Mm -hmm. Obviously they learned to speak from the... Brett Bro Mole Brothers. There was an infestation at their mole frat house. And they learned by listening through the walls. So they just don't talk to you, they just immediately attack you, but now they just think that you're a sock op, so they're willing to talk. They think you're a sock op having a little trouble with your meal. Yeah. Nope. That's the only way to get these attack pieces. And we still have to find Mario. I guess. Might be important. Clearly we are now playing Luigi, Sock Ops Inside Story.
And in case you didn't get it, they beat you over the head with the reference. That one is named Karibo. They're sick and tired of eating blocks. They want real, living flesh. Um, okay, maybe it's not such a bad idea that we're eradicating these things and using their corpses as transport. It's still mildly disturbing. A little bit. <laughs> actually, probably a bit more than mildly. It was actually still alive. So it has severe brain damage. Assuming it has a brain. They, like, lose sentience if there's something in their mouth. Maybe. But now we gotta fight four of them. Again, there's absolutely nothing unique about this fight. It's just four sock ops. That was efficient. Yeah, I wanted to get this over with. But that, we got our tenth attack piece. We are ready to take on Chakran. See what this seismic attack. Oh. It's. It's. Obesity. Again. I thought we were trying to cure that. Nope. Well, he's not eating a poison mushroom. He's just eating too much sugar. You're fighting fat with fat. The diabetes epidemic in this kingdom is... And they're supposed to be the best role models. They're the heroes of the kingdom. Maybe they're just trying to make the fat toads not feel so bad. Wiggler doesn't want us using this attack in the woods. Screw you, Wiggler. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Well, he can tell you, he just won't listen. Hey, we're back on the mountaintop. Not pictured here. When you take that pipe down, there's a block you can hit that lowers a platform, so you can just get right back up. Let's properly see Snack Basket. It takes 14 SP, that is quite the cost. A bunch of donuts and cookies and... It's kind of like the cookies from Yoshi's Cookie. Yep. The other things just seem to be sort of generic desserts. One of them kind of looked like an onion. <laughs> I know that there's like a donut and like an eclair. I don't know what the others were. One was ice cream. With that, we have knocked him out of his thousand year pose. It'd be funny if the foods in the basket were the same, like, high-calorie foods that are in the Reuben Bowser's castle. The shrunk-down versions. Yeah. So, Chakran wasn't trying to help us. He was just being a jerk. It's like, oh, I bet you guys can't knock me out of this pose I've been in for... That was in years. Oh. Wait, you actually did it. Well, I don't feel like giving you the star cure. Well, he comes around in the end. First you commit suicide. Bye! Not entirely sure where he's keeping that. You did it! We got the third plot coupon. Now we can exchange it for valuable plot prizes. I bet forming them all together will ensure nothing terrible happens. Nope. You can save the world. Yep. Or at least get rid of the blorps. What? You, you mean make the toads not fat anymore? I know, it's terrible. Not all plump and round with their barely fitting vests and their wiggly little arms? No, I just, just take 
cures back. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna just bury these, pretend I didn't find them. Nope, sorry. Blorbs forever. I don't even have to edit this one. He just throws us right back to Toad Town. Convenient. Very. Because it's a long walk back. Let's see how our amnesic little toad is doing. Now that we found the first of the special attacks. Well, it's doing a little better. Still gotta go to Bowser's freezer, apparently. I'm wondering how he managed to just wander into Bowser's castle. That's a good point. 90% of the time, it's the last level. Maybe Bowser kidnapped him and threw him in the freezer. Just where Fawny came in, got the princess, like, eh, red and black, that's pretty cool. Let's take this guy, too. Yep. I'm not sure what that motion is, Doctor, but um, I don't think I like it very much. He's groping the cure. <laughs> Grope for the cure, yes. Hey, it's our valuable plot prize. The Miracle Mario Cure. No, 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 what are you doing? You monster. They should just shrink and still be fat. Still be fat and wiggly, just small. Just be smaller versions of that. I mean, that's all it looks like it's doing. <laughs> Though I'm sure they'll be perfectly normal when we go out there and see them. That is actually important because there are several beans and items in Toad Town you can't get until this point of the game. But this quack has cured the blorbs. And my reason for playing this game. Boy, it's so shiny! I kind of wish they'd use the uh, You Got a Star music from the first SNES Mario RPG. That would have been a nice throwback. Would have been pretty cool. Episode 20, and we are approaching the end game. Uh, there's a few things to clean up before, and. Plenty of bonus content. Totally, please stop pointing, it's disturbing. His finger is so big. His hand's like as big as his head. That's where his healing power comes from. Giant hands. Join us next time for more Mario and Luigi. Thanks for watching.